Hey guys, so today I'm going over the updates in Japan. No, I will not be doing Tamamo today. I will be doing her tomorrow. Uh, I, I want to get a better feel for her kit because I haven't really explored it that much and I don't have a ton of time tonight. Um, but we'll be going over all the new stuff that just recently came to Japan and just checking out, you know, same stuff we always do. So just a quick look at Tamamo's new uh, outfit and job plus pose, as you can see. They're great. She's got the braids, the tails have now been inserted into the character model. Definitely a nice skin, and the best part of it all, it's completely free. That's right, Tamamo just got a free event skin. Um, as for the Nunso itself, um, I'm still trying to decide which one is better. Honestly, I'm not a huge fan of either of them with her. And she's definitely more centered around buffing than Yomi is, although she is a Miko, or um... I guess it's with priestess in global or something like that but yeah she she's basically like the yomi the bow equivalent of yomi definitely super nice uh, now unfortunately hazel did get a job plus but as i have never raised her i can't even show you what the pose looks like because <laughs> i need more uh sure so, uh maybe i'll try to get that stuff together eventually and uh show it off for you guys but until then uh i won't be doing anything specifically on hazel i might throw a video together for her later but she did get a job plus so moving over to the secret shops All right uh the first shop is an absolute disaster of a shop this is our standard shop where it's got like the 1500 uh, paid, you get all the stuff you need for a single Kaigen. I don't think that's worth it most of the time unless you're a whale. There's a pick ticket for a bunch of units that really don't deserve to be pick ticketed for 1500 paid. You should grab the uh, 500 grand uh, Zenny or 500k Zenny tickets for the job enchantment um, tokens. Just saves yourself some uh, getting some of those uh, generic. Uh, JE crystals later and then we've got our standard uh, gate 5 shop with the 50 shards and the equipment that no one should ever buy unless extreme collab circumstances Neka Neka got her OG skin this week I probably will not be getting it just because I have her Easter skin with her Easter Nenso but it does look nice it's nice to see Neka finally get out of that battle mage outfit for everyone Definitely worth getting if you are a fan of Neka. So moving on to the coin shop and the Tamamo event. I'll be going over the Tamamo event in a little more detail in just a minute, but as you can see, her, well, I guess you can't see it, but her job plus stuff is for coins, just like the Shenmei event, but it is better than the Shenmei event. Do not worry. We'll be going over that in just a minute. Other than that, we do have three horns and five sins in the shop. Do make sure you pick those up if you are a Japan player. Hazel and Tamamo shards. Honestly, if you've been farming them all this time, you don't need these. But pick them up anyways. You might as well. Worst case scenario, you trade them in for soul coins and you get something else. That's the worst case scenario. There is 28 or there's 30 total copies of the Tamamo Nenso in the shop here. And I'm not sure exactly why there's so many. I haven't checked to see if the VCR can be popped multiple times. The VCR is okay. Um, it might it might definitely see some use. I have to actually pull it up here. And see if uh, it has anything special on it. Um, but yeah, other than that, there are some water shards in here. Um, oh, and those are one per day. Oh, nice. I'll have to be picking those up daily. I didn't even notice that before now. Um, so yeah, that's actually really good. I didn't. I can't believe I didn't notice that until now. Um, and there's also some leaves in here. Now, as you can see, I don't really need leaves, but you know, definitely worth a look. Now we still have the 10 million download event. If you have the unit, you can buy some of their shards with the coins that you can get from or could get from the gadgets. I don't think the gadgets are available anymore. There is the water Xenobelt tower, and um, yeah, it's just like the Thunder one, just with water units. Super interesting, right? 
other than that, there's nothing really special going on with the coin shops. So let's go ahead and switch over to the banners. So the banners this week are pretty awful. We do have the countdown banner still. Um, honestly, if you're a new player, these are a good deal. If you're not a new player, these are a bad deal. Uh, it had, contains units and Nensos in the same pool. And there are 333 uh, gems per pool. And today you can pull it nine times in total for the better part of 3k gems. It's, um, it, like I said, if you're new, this is a great way of getting Nensos and units at the same time. If you're an older player, it's just really not worth it. It's better to save up for things that you immediately want. So we do have a new um, unit, a Berica. Um, and I have not looked at her kit yet, but she is a water uh, sword user. And I hear her kit has a lot of TPs. I don't know how good and how she stacks up, but generally when you see a kit that has a lot of TPs, it tends to lean more PvP-ish, but like I said, I have not actually looked at her kit yet. There's the 1500 paid pool. This is going to have um, five star units, 10 of them. Just your standard five star unit pool there. And there is the standard banner for her. And obviously they got to throw Tamamo and Hazel in there to dilute the pool a bit. Cause you know, we wouldn't want you getting the new unit too easily now, could we, do we? Now there is a banner for uh, two new Nensos. And I have not actually looked to see if either of them are, well. Actually, I don't think I can see it from here. I'm gonna have to pull up the uh, new site. But Tomomo's Nenso is in here, you know, because once again, we can't have you getting the new stuff too easily now, can we? Gumi's got Gumi's got to make his money. EMIP has got to eat. Quick, look this up right now. Um, so from the looks of it, the Hazel Nenso is limited, but the uh, Berica Nenso is not. And of course, I got the Berica Nenso. And the, um, unfortunately, the VCR on that thing is just damn near useless for everyone but her. Nigel can technically use it, but that's Nigel. And if you really want to go to an extreme, you could technically run it on Dark Cavalier um, Judith. So, <laughs> it is a Slothstein slash item, and almost all Slothstein units are slash, or uh, missile units. Or at least most of them are. There's very few slash units in Slothstein. So there is a new ring, and this is a raid-based ring. It's going to have a 15 giant mod modifier on it with, I think, 470 HP and 40 physical attack, if I remember correctly off the top of my head. I was looking at it earlier. It's a super nice piece of gear. I'm not going to be pulling for it. I'm just going to uh, hope that it shows up on a uh, equipment selector at a later date. I, it's a nice piece of gear, don't get me wrong. I just don't think it's worth the gems for me right now, especially because I dropped my packs recently. If I was still on my packs, I might have aimed for it, but I also have a tendency not to value uh, gear as high as I value like units or Nensos, because Nensos often unlock new skills and the stat gains are significantly better than most gears. Whereas gears offer incremental buffs in general, with um, most of the gear buffs being from VCR or some of the bigger ones, which you get from the Nensos anyways. General gear just tends to not be as impactful in this game. And don't do not get me wrong, it is impactful, it's just not as impactful normally. There are a few exceptions, such as like the Battle Dragon armor, uh, or the uh, Dragon Goddess armor, or whatever the heck it's called, that has the uh, Pierce charge up. Obviously, that's a super impactful piece of gear for a couple of units, specifically Tiona, more than anyone else. But yeah, the, the, those kinds of in high impact gears are few and far between, um, unless the gear itself has been specialized in some way to a certain unit. So, we've got um, basically a hero banner here with Kuza and Kudin. Pull at your end risk. That's all I gotta say on that. We do have a nine step for, I assume these are all of the non-limited DG Nensos. I do not think this banner, well, actually never mind. Ultima is, I see the Ultima and Nenso in here. So yeah, these include the limited ones. Um, is it worth it? Maybe. Um, I don't personally think that is worth it though. Ultima uh, appears on that uh, seven step uh, New Year's slot. It's pretty easy to get his Nenso in Japan. You just gotta wait for the, um, you gotta wait for the limited Nenso pool that has just all limited Nensos and it's a seven step. There's another a pool here that has Kudin's uh, unique gear. Don't even bother with that. You can get those off equipment pick tickets. 
and that's it so yeah basically the uh, gacha this week is more or less a train wreck i did two pulls on the um nenso banner using my discount tickets so 500 per pull and um i did actually get a lot of nice stuff i got two uh tama uh nensos which will be super nice as it'll let me uh get some extra of her vcrs you can never have too many of Tabamo VCRs. They're just so freaking good. Um, there is a new panel based around the event, and this is also called the Harvest Moon event, in case you didn't notice. Um, and yeah, it's got some free gems and a free five-star end, so I'll be doing this right after I finish. I just got to do uh, some extra, two more event quests, and I've just got to get the um, last mission off the one. It, it had a kill-all mission, and... Um, but it also had a unit that, uh, if you killed it, it ended the map, and I was on auto. You can do the math. So we have a one per day of the all of the DG units and their shards. Uh, I'll run that later. It's most likely going to drop five at a time. And, like, normally I think it's five at a time with four to five units. It, it depends. This is the final day for the Thunder version of that same thing. Now the Harvest Moon event is going to run for 11 days in total, including today. So if you are a Japan player, get on it. You're going to want to get this done as fast as possible because you figure if it's running for 11 days and you can get five water shards a day, that's over 50 water shards over the course of the event. Not including, obviously, all of the, LA, the uh, 10 LE shards you're going to get from that one. There's also some wind and some fire. I still need to uh, do this here. And uh, that map was kind of annoying, not going to lie. It was definitely kind of annoying. Uh, I needed to change my strategy on that map to do better. Um, the Vita event was extended one day due to an emergency maintenance. So keep that in mind that by the time most of you hear this, it's probably going to be just about too late. Anyways, um, MOA, well, it's not MOA's event, it's the uh, Lucretia uh, wedding event is ongoing right now so pick it up if you want her job plus I, I don't think it's um as impactful as some of the other ones however she is a good unit to have you should be raising your lucretia as she is the best thunder veil option although i don't run her very often when i do have to run her i am super glad that i have her uh we have two vcr stages this week as normal we have the one that has the new nensos and we have the one that has Watatsumi Nensos this week, because obviously Tamamo is a Watatsumi unit. <laughs> we go over to our daily events. And the um, Elemental uh, Evo material stage is being run. And you should always run these daily when they're up, because once you do it seven times, you can then go into your key quests. I gotta remember to do this, because it has a... Uh, mechanical vision on it so once you run that uh, quest seven times you go over here and as you can see i already have five keys from the last time you open up this map and you get a free horn with two sins and a bunch of other evo mats and a bunch of rainbow ingots it's super nice always make sure you run those and that's it for the events um as far as two times or yeah, Babel Chronicles is 0 AP except for the EX quest this week. So um, if you're a new player in Japan, do make sure you get as much of this done as possible because... I'm sorry, those aren't Babel Chronicles. Those are That's the DG stuff. It's been a long day. So DG um, stages are at 0 AP for this week. If you are a new player, you should definitely go and grind these out. If you're an old player looking to get rid of some of those milestones, you know, collect some of the uh, other stuff, now's a great time to do it. Um, if you want to farm your VCR percents the old-fashioned way by just going and doing stages a bunch, you can actually do it here because even though it is 0 AP, the game still registers at it as an AP quest. You can get vision percent from 0 AP uh, DG maps. Keep that in mind. Uh, if we go over to the main story, we do have double drop on the units this week. Um, basically, it's every unit that just got its gate 5. I'm not going to go over them all, but the ones to really look out for is um, Hazel and Tamamo, obviously. Other than that, just uh, stay the course on your hard quests. 
and that's really all there is to this update the real um the real kicker of this update is obviously going to be hazel and tamamo um i was looking forward to tamamo the most We've been theorizing that Tamamo was going to get the Miko job plus, like Yomi's Miko job plus, where she'd just get a bow instead of a sword, instead of a katana. And sure enough, it did come around. We did theorize this back when Yomi got her job plus, and we doubled down on our theorizing when she didn't get a uh, Miko JE. But it finally came, and Tamamo is definitely on her way back up the ranks. Now, as, um,. As you can see, I have not maxed out her gate four or five yet, so these are definitely not her final stats. And I still haven't quite made a decision on what I want to run as her uh, passives, which is partially why I'm not making a video on her today. But as you can see, it's a great skin. Really nice skin. And we're going to just quickly go over and take a peek at the Nenso while I have you guys. Before I do that, I'll just pull up the other Nenso that I got today. Oh, did I miss it? There it is. And there you go. A happy Tamamo to send you guys off for today. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. As always, I'll have Tamamo's Job Plus uh, video out as soon as I figure out what I want to do with her. Uh, I'm not sure about Hazel yet. So thanks for watching, as always, and I'll see you next time.